Sí, 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 lo vi. Christmas begins with the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and God saw everything that he made, and behold, it was very good. Then sin came into the beautiful world to mar it. Humankind disobeyed God, and fellowship with God was broken. But God planned a gift for all humankind, a way to bring his children back to him. This way was Christmas. God decided to send his son into the world and he chose the people of Israel to prepare an earthly home for him. There shall come a star out of Jacob, God said, and the scepter shall rise out of Israel. God told his people through the prophet Isaiah about the Savior who was coming. Isaiah said, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. And his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, and Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. But where was this child to be born? Through the prophet Micah, God gave the answer Bethlehem. Micah said, Bethlehem, you are one of the smallest towns in Judah, but out of you I will bring a ruler for Israel. God chose a young girl named Mary, who lived in the town of Nazareth in Galilee, to be the mother of his son. Mary was engaged to a man named Joseph of the house of David. God sent his angel Gabriel to tell Mary that she has been chosen. And Gabriel said, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will give birth to a child, a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. And of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary replied, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. At that time, Emperor Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the Roman Empire. Everyone then went to register himself, each to his own hometown. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth to Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea. Joseph went to register with Mary, who was going to marry him. While they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. There was no room for them to stay in the inn, so the innkeeper sent them to stable. <laughs> That night, Mary gave birth to her son, wrapped him in cloths, and laid him in the manger. Jesus, our Savior, was born.
There were some shepherds in that part of the country who were spending the night in the fields taking care of their flocks. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone over them. They were terribly afraid. But then the angel of the Lord spoke and said, Do not be afraid. I am here with good news for you, which will bring great joy to all the people. This very day in David's town, your Savior was born, Christ the Lord. And this is what will prove it to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great army of heaven's angels appeared with the angel, singing praises to God. Some men who studied the stars came from the east to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the baby born to be king of the Jews? We saw his star and we wish to worship him. The three kings saw the child with his mother Mary and knelt down and worshipped him. They brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh and presented them to Jesus. Tonight we can come to the Christ child just as truly as the shepherds and the three kings did so long ago. For the, for the light that shone for them shines for us still, guiding us towards Jesus, towards hope, towards new life. And this is the Christmas gift that God gives to you and to me and to everyone on earth. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Also with you. Greet one another with the sign of God's peace. You guys did a great job. Can you help Nicole clear out the stuff from Kazi? Just go down and help them. Stick it out in the hallway, okay? Peace be with you.
Peace. Peace with you.